you've said on the record that this year's your, your best chance of winning the, the Melbourne Cup with Mount Athos. Of course, you wouldn't mind if uh, uh, my question please will do the job for you. But uh, why Mount Athos? Why, why he? You've had him for the season, three wins. I, I don't think I said that. I think I, I got, I got a, a very good chance with both horses. Um, I, can't, I can't really separate them very much. Right. But I think that uh, Mount Athos uh, is, is a little bit the unknown quantity because uh, he's only been with me for a year. He's won all three races impressively. And uh, so he's a bit of a dark horse slipping in under, under the radar, whereas Quest for Peace is, is better known. And, uh, but, you know, there's not a lot between them. At what stage, Luca, did uh, you actually think that Mount Athos was a horse you could bring out here? Uh, when the owner told me. <laughs> <laughs> but you're always looking for the horse, aren't you? You're always looking for the horse, and he, he suddenly appears at your stables off you know, two or three other trainers had had him, and in form was fair to say moderate. Before you? Well, you said it, I didn't. <laughs> You've improved him a touch. I think he's probably improved with age, like most of us do. <laughs> uh, and you, you say he's in the weight, in, in it, a winnable weight. 54 is a fantastic weight to, to win a Melbourne Cup with for a horse with his profile. Uh, yeah, uh, 53 would be better. <laughs> you can't readjust him. You've. Normally when you've come out here, Luca, you've always given a horse a run, whether it be the Geelong Cup, Caulfield Cup. This year did the same with My Quest for Peace. Um, Mount Arthur's a different horse. He goes better fresh? I think so. If you look at uh, his, his profile this year, uh, he ran first time out for me in May, and he hadn't run for about six months, and he won very easily. Then uh, he didn't run the race for two months, and he won the listed race very easily. Then he didn't race for another 45 days, I think, and he won a group three quite easily. So I think, I think so far it's worked. I'm not saying it's going to work again, but it's, it's worked so far, and I didn't see much point in changing it. The key to uh, any horse coming to Australia is the travel and, and settling in and adjusting to this environment. Uh, have Obviously, we've seen my quest for peace, or quest for peace. He seems to have handled it. Manathos, uh, to, to your eye, are you happy? Yeah, he's, he seems very happy. He, he's, um, you know, he looks well. Um, he's doing well. He's eating well. Everything seems good. But Karen... Uh Lost in the moment, ran six last year, good run. Um, this year it seems to be a, a, a cracker field. Is there any sort of word from the Godolphins as to how he's coming along? Yeah, well, he's travelled out fine. Uh, I'm going to know a bit more in about half an hour's time when I'm going to ride him out there on the track. But um, he hasn't won for a little while, this horse. Um, he's a five-year-old that hasn't won since early 2011. Um, ran a creditable race last year. Um, if he comes here in his best form, he's a chance to run in the top six or top, top eight. Um, if he has luck on, on, on the day, um, then he's a chance to run in the top three. So um, his last two runs have been uh, a nice improvement on his first few runs. He's had five runs this season and they were okay and his last two runs have been nice improvements. So look for him to run well. He seems to have really good form over the 3,200 metres. That seems to be his pet distance. Yeah, I think you're right, definitely. And he doesn't mind firmish track if it comes up that way on Tuesday. So uh, we need a little, little bit of a luck to win, no doubt. As you said, there's some top internationals uh, here. Um, Dermot Weld's horse hasn't been spoken about a lot. Um, I think Lucas' horse is in with a nice weight. His win at Newbury was um, was quite good to, to watch, so uh, a great fielder as we always expect. Can we give us, a, a, before I ask Luca about Ryan Moore, a, a totally different personality in the, to, for the great Frankie, of course, but obviously a world-class rider. He rides Lucas' horse. What's your rap on Ryan Moore? Yeah, he's a top rider. A um, little bit younger than me, but he was kicking goals when I first got there, and and watch Ryan develop um, through the five seasons I was there. A really strong rider, um, committed to the game, and um, a great judge of a horse as well. Um, you know, this will be his first ride in Australia, but don't be put off by that at all. Okay. Uh, tell us about uh, Ryan Moore for you. With, with why did you go with him on Man Athos? Um, well, he won. He, he rode him last time yeah. in the in the race at Newbury when he won, when he won the Group Three very well. He liked the horse. He seemed to have a good rapport with him. Uh, he's a young guy. He's unafraid. He's very cool. Um, doesn't get phased by much. So I thought it was uh, might as well keep the same partnership. He won't get caught up in the in the moment, will he? Here, he doesn't uh, tend to focus on much outside of uh, actually getting on doing doing the job in the saddle. That's right. He's very very committed. Mm. Uh, Karen, if you had a a blanket choice of all the rides in the the cup. Lost moment, doesn't get a ride in the race, doesn't get a run in the race. Who would you want to ride? Um, I'd probably put it between Lucas Horse and um, Dunedin. Obviously, he's got that, that extra kilo again, but the horse has travelled here. As we've seen in the Caulfield Cup, he's, he's, I think he's racing better this year, Dunedin, than last year. 
Um, so he's going to be very hard to beat. And look at how do you see this year's cup with uh, Mericans in the den, the last two winners back. It's uh, obviously an incredibly top-heavy handicap uh, contest this year, isn't it? I think those two French horses are very good, and I was very impressed by the way they raced in the Caulfield Cup. Um, as Karen says, uh, Denadin seems to be an even better horse this year, and uh, I thought I thought American ran a very very good trial in, in the Caulfield Cup. Great to see Andre Fab here trying to get Brigantin in, one of the great trainers of the world. So many uh, Arc de Triomphe that he's won. Uh, it's, it's just become a, a truly international contest, hasn't it? Yeah, it's becoming more and more of an, a, a, an almost group a group one race at weight for age because the, the spread is getting smaller and smaller because there's so many good horses at the top. Probably a silly question. Do you think you can win it this year? Do you think you can take this, finally get this, uh, get this cup? Uh, I'm hoping to. As I said many times, when it comes to horses and women, you can never be confident, hopeful at best. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Sarah? Uh, good to see you, Luca. Good luck for the, uh, for the rest of the week. Good luck when you get home. Thanks very much, Bruce. <laughs>